Okay, so I want to show you the uh, 001 Game Creator uh, Game Engine 2021. Uh, I was told that this is one of the best game engines out there. Kind of like a hidden gem out there. A lot of people know about this game engine, but uh, for some reason we haven't done it in this channel. So today we are going to have a close look at uh, the 001 Game Creator 2021. Okay, so before we get started, don't forget to smack the like button down below and subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Also, there is a bell next to the subscribe button. Now, done with our cheesy intro, let's have a look at this game engine. Okay, so this is what you get when you first open it. Uh, by the way, it's on sale on Steam, 60% uh, off, so if you want to get it, the link is down below. And there is also a free demo you can download. Okay, so let's uh, let me just uh, close this here, okay, and uh, we're gonna go file new. Uh, we have a blank template. Let me just try this here. Let me just load that demo there. See what this game engine is all about. Pretty similar to uh, Game Maker Studio, actually, if you ask me. So, except for this is probably better. Let me just load this demo. See what happens. Escape the castle. All right, let's do that. Okay, press the button. Okay. And uh, we are going to escape the castle. How do you jump? Got uh, the space bar. Okay, shift. It is shift button, guys. And I'm going to try to escape the castle. That was my um, Peppa Pig impression there, but it kind of came out a bit French. Alright, here we go. Jump. Uh, the frame rate is freaking amazing. Oh my god, I fell. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm looking this so far. Uh, this is sort of drag and drop, guys. This is not like a coding kind of thingy. Um, oh, did I finish the game? I did. I just, I just finished this demo. I mean, you can make your games longer, but this, this is just a demo. I'm looking at parallax scrolling, and the uh, pixel art looks freaking awesome. You win. Oh, can we change that? Let me just um. I go to that level there. I guess that's must, that must be the ending. And those must be like the birds, the assets. I can just click on point. I guess it's bird one, bird three. Okay, I guess those are like instances for objects. And they, um, you said the speed of them here. That's good. Uh, I want to change that text at the end which says you win. I don't like that. Uh, how do you change that? I guess it must be under the script. Be some sort of script here where I can double click introduction inventory. Okay, is it this one here? See, let me double click on this here. Uh, this seems to be some sort of collision. Let me see, edit script. Oh, here it is. You win. Okay, let me just change that quickly to like, uh, oh my god, you say. You say me, I guess now you want a kiss. Do you? Perv. Okay, we won't write that. <laughs> and uh, the width, you can change the width of this. Okay, and the position, which is good. Uh, okay, close that. Oh, save it first. There we go. I don't have to push anything because he's running on his own there. Okay. She says, oh my god, you saved me. I guess, I guess now you want to kiss. Do you? Action RPG? What is this here? Let me just have a look. Uh, already, that already exists, so let me just call it a game one. So I guess you can make your own game out of these demos. Just modify them. Which is what I would do if you were first starting with this game engine. Kind of warm today, actually. Alright, so let me run this here. And I like that this can export to just about anything out there. Actually, if you can export to HTML5, uh, there is a converter for um, HTML5 to PlayStation, uh, PlayStation 4, Xbox, and even... Uh, the new Xbox and PlayStation 5. Did I say PlayStation 5 twice? I have a habit of uh, repeating myself. I, I thought I said PlayStation 4. Pretty good demo. Pretty, pretty good demo. So it does 3D. It doesn't need extensions like other game engines I know. 
3D adventure first person, okay. Uh, let's call this a game too, otherwise it will complain that the game already exists. An actual 3D uh, demo, look at that. This can make 3D games, I did not know that. So let me just uh, save this, so no need to fake the 3D in this uh, game engine guys. Uh, like certain other game engines I know. I said that twice again, wow. 001 3D demo. Let's play it to see what this is all about. I don't know, it seems pretty 3D to me. Okay, so let's uh, press the enter button, see what happens. It's part one. Oh, it's actually 3D, look at this. It's actually 3D, so I guess you can uh, click on this. Or you can turn it off. And I guess you can turn it back on again. Very nice. There's a note here. You can read the note. Press enter. Okay, something puzzle, 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 blah, blah, blah. Uh, I guess you're supposed to read that, but since I'm just kind of touring this around. Oh, you can jump too. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? Uh, I think this shelf is movable. Press move it. I guess you have to press control. Aha, uh -huh, it opens. It opens. Some sort of a secret thing here. And we can talk to this person who is um, here. I guess you can change your own models and stuff. Okay, we have to open the door for this guy. Okay, he wants me to do something before uh, I open the door. Can you get up there? Oh, he says he has just activated some sort of mechanism. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, you can change the view too. <laughs> That's pretty good. I like that. I mean, I guess you can change the model because it doesn't seem like the best model ever. But the fact that this can do 3D is pretty freaking amazing. It's pretty dark in here. Okay, so I guess you can turn the uh, flashlight on. Pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. That's a lot of text. I'm not re Oh, the password is the fourth word in the... Uh Alright, so what do you have to do? Oh, wait, I have to pull out my notes. Okay, press escape. In my menu. And the fourth word is friend. Okay, let me just uh, find the door. He wants the password. Password is correct. Pa two. Okay, it looks pretty good. So let me just load another demo. You guys can exp you guys can explore this uh, by yourself. All right, let me just load this here. Okay, let's have a look at this. Oh my god, you can battle. What's my button? Control, control. Oh, I'm fighting someone or she's fighting... Or she's helping me fight something. So I can... Fight these... Uh, blobs of... I don't know what they are. They're like... Alright, so now we have to... Uh, what do you have to do now? Okay, press enter. Can you talk to the guy over there? Yes, I can, I suppose. Go talk to him. What do you want? Do you want to talk to that guy over there, I guess? Uh, told me to leave him alone. Very nice conversations. I, I like that. Uh, let's try another, another demo. A light interface in picture sound example split screen. Ah, this is nice. And like I said, there is no need for plugins and things for like that in this uh, game engine. You you simply just made things. And yes, you can. S and as you can see, we have a split screen. Yeah, this is player two. Oh, okay. I I can control this with the arrows. 
and I can control this with uh, WSD which is nice and I remember certain uh, people struggling to create split-screen games in certain other game engine that I'm not going to mention right now uh, and look how easy it is here to do that wow can you go through that door I wonder I, mean, I think I think you can oh this looks nice I like how it has like fog like you can actually just enable fog and weather effects like that without having to like go crazy with your scripting or something now this is visual scripting by the way and I believe you can code things if you wanted to we're going to have to look at that later Okay, pretty good dialogue. Uh, okay. Okay, I guess we have to talk to these people. I don't want to buy anything. Can I just? I want to stay in the night. I think the noise I'm hearing in the background is the wind because I think it's going to rain tonight. Oh, nice room. I, I want to get out of the room. I'm going to go talk to this pause on here. Yeah, I see a lot of people in uh, Game Maker Studio struggling to make these kind of games. And here you have a working template. You can simply, I don't know, change the characters or... Um, um, the game. Oh, what do I have to do? I don't know what I have to do. Maybe look around somewhere else. Oh, I found 20 gold pieces. Okay, that's good. Nothing else there. Gonna buy something from this guy again. Keep hearing noises. I can actually jump. Finish your quest. What quest? What are you talking about? Okay. Equip cure. Right, whatever. Oh, I can go out now and fight these blobs of water. Kind of like Zelda, actually. Horror game. Uh, RPG. Pretty good demo. So let me just, just have a look at one more thing, and then we're gonna call it quits. Um, let's see. That is on. You can make online um, fighting games, sort of like. Um, and this one is going to be a host. Connect. Okay. All right. So one is a server, and the other one is the um, uh, the host. Okay. So let me just move this one. Um, the characters and you can have your own online multiplayer game just like that super simple and like I said this is on sale right now so if you're gonna get it uh, the link is down below uh, there's a bunch of DLC packs here which um, I'll probably look at later it's supposed to be some sort of cinematic so I'm just gonna play this and I will see you guys in the next video uh, did I mention to like the video? <laughs> I think I did. Alright guys, see you guys in the next video. Bye now.